Energin aamu ja Jenni Haapala. Hello Jenny. Hi Theo and congratulations about your new album Faith. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for people to hear it. Yeah, me too. Uh, how has it been to do an album during these weird times due to COVID-19? It's been strange, of course. You know, I think we had to make a decision early on in the pandemic and in the lockdown whether we were going to do it and whether we were going to move ahead with it because it was all finished already. The decision we made that was that we were proud of it, we were wanted people to hear it and And some of the themes on the album, actually, they were more suitable now. And so we decided to go ahead with it. Yeah. What has been different, like, if you think about your daily routines doing an album, I what has been different? A lot of our fans and a lot of our successes spread out across the world. So we can't really travel very much, well, at all. So we've had to do everything from here. And mm. it was very difficult to make music videos. Music videos are a big part of what we do, really, as a band. And because the whole industry's kind of down it was difficult to do that side of it and and also day-to-day life is is not much different because when you're a musician you mm. spend a lot of time alone in a room <laughs> working and not really yeah. seeing anyone so yeah. we're kind of we're kind of prepared <laughs> Uh, the thing that I noticed, of course, I checked your Instagram account when I was pr- yeah. uh, preparing to this interview. The last time I saw you here in Finland, you had short cut hair, and now you ha- <laughs> your hair is a bit longer. I was like, okay, is this Theo? Because he looks like weird because you have this long hair. <laughs> so how how long have you had that longer hair? Quite a while now, maybe a year or two. So it, I mean, my hair doesn't grow quickly. Yeah, it's definitely it's a change. You know, yeah. Change. And uh, by the way, about Instagram, um, do you spend like so much time together with Adam that you you want to keep your Instagram ag- accounts separate? Because I didn't found any Hertz Instagram account. Do you know what? We we've, we've just always had separate accounts you know they're just our own personal account it was just always the way we've done things yeah yeah okay i read that you have tried blind therapy i don't know when yeah. but i assume recently maybe that was something that during the album process it was it was quite a difficult process for me you know i was struggling with a lot of personal problems and i was finding it difficult to be creative and difficult to really sort of function. It was it was a very dark time for me. And mm. the way to, I tried lots of different things, and one of them was this thing called blind therapy, which is where you blindfold yourself for a few minutes at a time, maybe 10 minutes, 30 minutes, and then it goes up to an hour, it mm. goes up to a couple of hours or a day. And the idea is that you blindfold yourself in order to stimulate the other senses yeah and then when you yeah. take the blindfold off you are energized and stimulated and it works you know it's a bit like meditation i guess and it's yeah. strange but i tried <laughs> it in the in amongst everything and it it seemed to help me yeah what was the, the longest time you were blindfolded a day a, a day? day it was interesting you get used to it you know you can kind of see if you don't If you can't use your eyes, you can easily find your way around your house and you can kind of listen to the radio, listen to the TV and things like that. Uh, did you like fall asleep? Because if you're like your eyes shut all the time and you, you spend like two hours <laughs> no. without seeing anything and you were like, okay, well, maybe I'll just take a nap. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was awake. I was, yeah. like, I was drinking tea and coffee all day, so I was fine. Um, yeah. yeah, it was strange. It's strange. It was a strange experience, but it was. Um, listen, it helped me out when I yeah. when I needed I needed to find something, and and yeah, it was something that was useful to me amongst yeah. lots of other things like walking, cycling, things like that. Those things helped, and also really after after a while of I just had to kind of ride it out and wait until things were better again. Mm. And then I gradually got back into making music, and and I was I was sort of drawn back into music. Because yeah. I wanted to do it, and and I felt able to do it, and that was the, where the album began, really. When I felt able to focus on things, and we started working. Everything just sort of went from there. We 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 didn't really have a plan. We didn't know what we were going to do or when we were going to release an album, but we just decided to work in our own time. And eventually, things came together and started to sound like we were making an album. I. Also, that you have lived with an octopus for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I I think true, it yeah. was called uh, Arnold, and it it came <laughs> it was, from yeah. Schwarzenegger because the octopus was the most strongest one. <laughs> yes, that's true. Do you have any idea how Arnold is doing? Have somebody eaten he's it? Okay. <laughs> he's okay. He's okay. No, he's okay. Listen, listen. They're the smartest creatures 
on earth you know they're so smart and what happened is i have a friend who works is a marine biologist and she does sort of work with octopuses and intelligence and things like that and and studied them and when the lockdown hit they needed she called me and said look we need we need these octopuses to to sort of have human contact so and because she knows i'm sort of half obsessed with them she was like do you want to have one in your house and look after it for a few weeks while we're while we we're all in lockdown mm. and obviously i said yes and so i had the octopus in my house in my living room and yeah i just fed it played games with it and watched the tv with me when i watched the tv <laughs> in its tank obviously not out of the tank yeah it I... was um it mm. was great you know I got, I got to learn a lot about it and so for the first few weeks really mm. of lockdown it was just me and Arnold the octopus in my <laughs> house. That's so funny. Um, what kind of games can you play with an octopus? You can play games with like, you have a little a thing on a piece of string that you move around the tank and it goes backwards and forwards. And then you put your hand in the tank and it like grabs onto the hand. You can do all sorts of things, you know. They're, they're, like I said, they're very smart. They're very strange creatures, but yeah. they're very smart. And... They seem to be watching the TV, you know, when you put the TV on. <laughs> he seems to be watching the TV, which is strange because, you know, like dogs don't. Dogs kind of do that and cats <laughs> do that, but you wouldn't expect an octopus to do that. But it was fun, you know, it was fun. It was a fun little experiment, and I, and I love them. They're amazing. I want to uh, go back to your album because it's called Faith, and I want to know yeah. what the faith means to you. I think in terms of this album, it's about the faith we had to have in ourselves in order to make this album, you know, because it came from a point of not knowing if it was going to be possible to do another album. You know, I think also the other meaning, really, it's about the faith that the fans and people have had in all of these years, because... Mm. I think this is some of the best music we've ever made. We wouldn't have been able to make this album without the support, really, of the fans over mm. the last 10 years. And the fact that given us chance to experiment, to try things out and to do things differently, I think that's a massive part of what this album is. And the fact that it even exists is the fact that we've had this support and faith from the fans. In the end of this interview, I want to ask you small, uh, quick questions. Perfect. This week has been... Fun... Because it was my birthday. What? When? On Sunday. Oh, congratulations. Thank you very much. How do you say it in Finnish? Hyvää syntymäpäivää. Exactly, which I can't repeat. <laughs> It's really complicated. Okay, <laughs> the easier one is paljon onnea. Paljon onnea. Yeah, yeah, perfect. There we go. Then my style is... Mm, hold on. My style is important to me and then an artist i would like to take with me to sing karaoke and go to bar with is eminem oh that's a good one and then the last one if i go to road trip i would take this person with me i would take david attenborough oh because he's really good at identifying all of the animals <laughs> <laughs> Either that, either him. I would take little Arnold with me again in a little <laughs> in a little tank in the car. I want to thank you, Theo, so much. I will see you here thank in you, Finland Jenny. in March, and I hope you the best and congratulations about faith. Thank you very much. Kitos, kitos. Energy Haapala.